today is the day that i've been waiting for for my whole life like i've literally been waiting for this day since i was born <laughs> today i'm getting microbladed so i just wanted to come on here and show you guys really quick how i look prior to my microblading procedure this is how my natural eyebrows look um yeah that's how my natural eyebrows look as you can see my natural eyebrows are very sparse um very thin um i normally fill them in every day like i will not leave the house without my eyebrows filled in which is funny because i was looking back on photos of me from a couple years ago and like i used to walk around just like so proud with my thin eyebrows like so happy and now like i will not go to like i will not like go to a drive through unless my eyebrows are on so that's why i'm really really excited to get my microblading done um i am going to come back to you guys after get i get the procedure and kind of let you know how they look um i'm also going to fill in my eyebrows now because my microblading artist said go ahead and fill in your eyebrows so she can see how you normally wear them so i'll come back really quick um and show you how they look filled in. okay i'm back i filled my brows in so this is how i normally would fill my brows in um I would typically, you know, wear makeup, and I'll insert a picture of me with my brows and makeup, just like I showed, you know, just the no makeup me. And the brow lady, the brow lady, the esthetician that's doing this procedure said to not uh, wear any other makeup. She said you could wear eyelashes and eyeliner, but you couldn't wear foundation. So... I really don't see the need. I mean, I could put lashes on, but I'm really not going anywhere. So I don't see the, really see the need to, for me to put lashes on. Um, but yeah, so that is, um, this is how my brows look filled in. I probably could have blended the concealer out a little more, but you know, typically with foundation and everything, it makes it blend in more. Um, I wouldn't say these are like perfect, like a thousand percent snatched or anything, but this just gives, you know, my brow lady an idea of how I typically do my brows. So yeah, I will be back um, to show you how I look after I get microbladed. Ooh. I've just finished my procedure and I am feeling like really, really sad, really I, this lighting I feel doesn't do justice to how they really look but they're extremely dark they're not like the exact proportion I feel that I wanted and I'm literally just sitting here holding back tears like sitting here like what the what the hell did I get myself into like what did I get myself into and I'm sitting over here like wanting to cry like I have look see now you guys can see like there's this tattoo on my face and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, do I need to go to get, like, tattoo removal? Like, I'm really upset right now. And <laughs> my microblading artist was the sweetest. Like, I'll definitely get into the whole procedure and everything that happened later. And, you know, talk more about it. But I'm just really upset now. Um, hopefully, when I get home, I'll show you guys in, like, better lighting how I actually look. Because this lighting seems horrible. But she showed me a picture of like Kim Kardashian, like the stages of microblading, and I'm definitely in the sobbing stage. So yeah, that's me currently. Um, I will be back. Hey everyone, so to here I am today is the first day um, after my microblading procedure, and this is how they're looking. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Yesterday I was kind of, you know, in my feelings and feeling sad the shape i'm still not 100 percent happy with like if you see this eyebrow is a little higher than this eyebrow and it seemed like no matter what i did like they could not just get like perfectly even like no matter what we did and apparently my eyebrow bone on this eye like on this side of my face is stronger than the one on this side of my face so because of that she said it was like impossible to get them a thousand percent perfect and she said that's normal she said a lot of people don't have completely symmetrical faces and then even when we look back at photos of how i like naturally draw my eyebrows because i naturally follow 
that line that's how they look so um you know it's not a thousand percent symmetrical she said we're gonna work to get that fixed on the second session and you know for me leaving initially it was a little bit disappointing to not have it a thousand percent perfect because i am a perfectionist but after sleeping on it seeing them knowing that they're gonna shrink i'm feeling a little bit better now she said this part is the part that's gonna fade the most so this is my eyebrows on day one another thing she said though was that today when i woke up she said my eyebrows would be like bacon like two pieces of bacon on my face and um they're not they look fine like they look normal so i guess mine haven't scabbed yet like she made it seem like they would scab immediately so we'll see i kind of had trouble sleeping last night just because like my eyebrows are hitting the pillow and i just didn't i just felt par okay so i'm gonna talk about my procedure now that it's been a day i've had a chance to you know recover and kind of think it over and like process what happened so i actually did not get microbladed i keep using the wrong terminology i didn't get microbladed i got ombre brows so th because i have oily skin and like as you can see right now my skin is oily sorry about that as you can see right now my skin is oily so she said microblading would be a really bad uh a really bad idea for me just because of the fact that i have oily skin she said if i get my eyebrows microbladed they would be fading within six months which is not good like that's not my goal whatsoever so i ended up going with uh combo or ombre brows so we'll see how they heal i was saying my concern was them being natural but she was like you wear makeup every day um i wear my eyebrows like this even if i'm not wearing makeup like i put on my eyebrows so she just suggested this to me as the best process so um i got there and i had to fill out paperwork basically saying you know if i die i have an uh, allergic reaction if my face falls off like she's basically not liable and i'm pretty sure all like certified people have you sign a waiver and then um following that uh she had me sit in a chair like sitting up like i am now and she mapped out my brows and so this was the longest like scariest part because after she maps out your brows you have this like thick black marker and it's hard to see you know what your brows would actually look like and she was like, oh, do you want me to change anything? And it just felt, like, awkward. Like, I didn't know what to change. Like, every change I made seemed to, like, go. Like, every change I thought I needed to make, she made it. And then I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe you should make it more arch. Oh, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Another thing is, like, when I laugh, sneeze, yawn they hurt so that's my current situation so i hope they're okay for me doing that but yeah anyway long story short she mapped my brows that was the most difficult part definitely do research on brow mapping if you like literally are like me and you're a perfectionist do research on it so you can make valid comments and be able to express what you wanted because i felt like that was my biggest downfall i couldn't really express what i wanted and how i felt so yeah so that happened and then um following the brow mapping she proceeded to tattoo my brows so she um first numbed them and then the way she did numbing was she cut my skin open and then put the numbing cream and then started working so the only time where it actually hurt was when she was cutting my skin open to get the numbing cream in and um that really hurt it was about one minute for each eyebrow her cutting my skin open and that really 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 hurt like i was to the point where i was like holding the chair like oh my gosh but then again like i've never had a tattoo i have a really really uh low pain tolerance like i'm a baby when it comes to stuff like that so to me personally it hurt but then she started tattooing my brows. She said she was doing four passes. And then she did the tail in the front. And then she came up and she was like, oh, they're pretty much done. Is there anything you want me to add? 
So I asked her to add more down here. And I feel like I wish I wouldn't. Like, now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, they look stupid. Like, I should have left them how they were. They were perfect before. Like, I'm beating myself up for saying that. But like I said, in the moment, it's very, very hard to kind of see the vision and see, um, to see what you're getting. So she said it's going to fade. She's like, it's the front part, so it has the, the least amount of ink. So she said it's definitely going to fade, and then on the second session, I should be able to re-touch um, it up. But yeah, so then um, she explained to me aftercare, and I wish she would have explained to me aftercare while I was, like, calm getting my brows done. Because, like, after I seen my brows, because I was not happy with the shape, I kind of blacked out. Like, everything she said to me after, I was just like, because I'm just like, look at my brows. I was like, they're uneven. Like by themselves they're fine but together i felt they are uneven and even looking at them now they seem uneven and maybe it's just me being a super perfectionist like i know if no one's staring at my brows they wouldn't notice but like me staring at my brows i'm feeling some type of way about that but you know overall i think they're fine i think healing will be fine but yeah i'll let you know what they look like tomorrow on day two but yeah, this is a close-up of day one. And as you can see, close-up, like, this is the part I asked her to add down here. And now I wish I didn't. But it's, like, in the moment, you couldn't, like, I couldn't see that. So, yeah. That's them currently. Up close, you can tell that they're uneven. And that's where I'm, like, frustrated. But, yeah, we'll see how they heal. We'll see if that is no longer a thing we'll see if i look back and laugh <laughs> all right hey guys so here i am day two i brow update um i just got off work i'm driving home totally shouldn't be filming and driving but the traffic is so bad during rush hour that i don't feel bad at all but okay here's my eyebrows and as you can see like they're low-key starting to look like bacon <laughs> um my eyebrow artist advised that I don't wear makeup, um, but I did put on eyelashes and eyeliner, but I feel like it shouldn't be a problem because I'm not going to be wiping my brow area. Um, no one at work noticed that I had these brows. They were like, oh, I thought you just did your makeup regular. I had no clue, so I pointed it out. Then they said they looked a little swollen. But yeah, this is how I'm looking currently. Um... So yeah, not too bad. I'm feeling a little nervous though because I actually have an interview for a promotion at my company and it is a week from today. So the interview will be on my nine days. So you know, obviously like an interview, you want to look decent. You want to look as good as possible. So like, I don't know how my brows are going to look. I had no clue I was going to have this interview when I scheduled my brow appointment. So we'll see. I mean, it seems like mine aren't really healing. Like, she made it seem like I would have scabs by now. But yeah, here's day two. I just wanted to update you all and let you know how my brows are looking. I mean, they are definitely a little more crispy than they were before. I'm also, like, way more warming up to the shape. Like, I'm over it. I think they actually look decent. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm getting used to them. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> day two guys um really nothing has changed so i haven't really filmed anything but the only thing i literally nothing has changed the only thing i notice is my skin like right here and right here feels really um scaly like something i got like i had the procedure done to that area of my skin so yeah day three Day three, my bad. Day three of healing, nothing has changed. Um, I didn't feel the need to come on here, but I remember watching other videos and being annoyed when people skip days. I was like, mm, you skip days, I really wanna see what happened. But yeah, this is day three. Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, so it's day four, I believe. But as you can see, my eyebrows are starting to peel a little bit i mean they don't look too horrible like this one is peeling a little bit up top and this one's peeling but yeah that's my day four update my only other update is my eyes 
have literally been burning and I know they said you don't wear makeup and I wore eye makeup and maybe that's why because uh, my eyebrow artist was saying how your veins and your eyebrows are kind of connected to your eyes so you know maybe there's something going on and I shouldn't have been wearing makeup so I did wash my eyes and took the makeup off but my eyes have been burning like crazy like my eyes have been on fire and I feel like I can't really wipe because I don't want to wipe my eyebrows but yeah that's my day four update I will see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, so my eyebrows are starting to peel really badly and it's like getting embarrassing. I'm telling everyone at work not to judge me because like, ugh. but yeah, um, it's weird. My skin, like I said previously around my face is also peeling. Like look at my forehead. It's like really scaly. Like it looks like bleached. It's weird, but... Yeah, that's how I'm currently looking. Not cute at all. Like, not cute. So yeah, tomorrow's... No, tomorrow's May 4th. Saturday's May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. So I mean, you know, I want to look cute. You know, maybe because you're zaddy. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But all right. Hey guys, so here's day six. Like, my eyebrows are coming up. They're definitely shedding at this point. I'm like praying they shed by my interview Monday. Today's Friday. All right, I have a green light, so BRB. I think this is day six or seven, but I'm looking crusty AF at this point. Like, it's literally disgusting. My eyelashes are struggling. <laughs> they struggle. But yeah, this is my current eyebrow situation. Yeah. So today's Saturday. My interview's Monday. So I need this to like, you know, like, this is how my eyebrows are looking. Day six. So my eyebrows are officially completely peeled. This is actually day nine. And I'm not going to lie, I like peeled off a little bit. But um, yeah, this is how they're looking. They said they normally look lighter when they first peel because it's fresh skin. But after a while, the um, true color will come back. So um, this is how my eyebrows are currently looking. Sorry about that. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're light. I know I'm going for a touch-up, so I'm looking forward to the touch-up for them to be darker. But, I mean, they're definitely better than what I was previously <laughs> working with. Hey, everyone. So, uh, it's been about six weeks since I had my microblading procedure, and I just wanted to come in and just do a quick, like, update to kind of end this video and show you how I'm looking. So, this is how my brows are looking, and yeah, like... I'm hype. Like, this is no makeup. Okay, I do have a, a piece of hair. This is my brows with no makeup. Like, I am a living for these. Honestly, honestly, I don't know why I waited so long to get this done. Like, I really don't. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Honestly, like, yeah, my brows can be a little darker, but they look natural. Like, sis has been leaving the house with no makeup. Sis has been snatch popping some eyelashes and go. Like, no, Anastasia Beverly Hills lost a customer. Like, I am so freaking happy. Look at this. Like, these are my dream effing brows. I'm so happy. Um, so the only thing I feel when I go back for my touch-up in two weeks is my tails, as you can see, are a little light and I feel that that needs to be touched up so I'm definitely gonna have her focus on the tails other than that I'm happy with that I'm just gonna say you know do another coat darken it let it um let the color really sink into my skin but like I'm addicted like when these fade I'm getting new ones like this is the wave if you're considering it 
definitely get it. I think you should consider combo brows over microblading just because they last a little bit longer. And if you're like me and your skin is always oily, I just wash my face so I'm good. But like give it two hours and I'll be messed up. Like I definitely a thousand thousand percent recommend combo brows. So I'm getting ready to go out. Um, I'm about to do my makeup and I am going to add some to my tail. And I'll come back really quick just to see like how I look with makeup and my um, brows. Because I have been looking horrible this whole video. If you've made it this far, please do not judge me for the previous clips. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to come on here and show you how my brows look with makeup. This is it. Um, the main thing I added was concealer, which really like shaped them up and gave me that snatched look. I'm sure if I actually um, spent the time to get them like threaded, then they would look better. But yeah, here's my finished eyebrow. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will uh, be posting a video uh, when I go for my touch up to see how my touch up is. And um, yeah, subscribe, comment, like, check out my other videos.